Romano, what kind of video are you want me to do today? I'd like to go over a video with you on how to classify a reaction for general chemistry. So come along and let's have a look at the six most common types of reactions that you're going to encounter. Number one, you have pentane reacting with oxygen. This is a combustion reaction. Notice combustion reaction, we get Cl2 in water, and I'm hoping that you all could balance that equation. Um, you always want to make sure the number of atoms on the left side is equal to the number of atoms on the right side. So that's an easy one. A hydrocarbon with oxygen, Cl2 and water, combustion. Number two is showing a metal, here is potassium, kicking out the zinc. And that's known as a single replacement. And that's pretty easy. The potassium is replaced the zinc, and we get potassium iodide and zinc metal. Look at number three. This is known as a double replacement. Notice we exchange partners. So silver nitrate and sodium chloride become sodium nitrate and silver chloride. This is known as a double replacement or a metathesis reaction. So that's a little tricky, but if you see the partner switch, the double replacement. Here's a metal reacting with an acid, and notice you're going to get a salt and you get hydrogen gas. And this is simply an acid-metal reaction. That's an easy one. Here you have an acid and a base. So an acid and a base giving salt and water. That's a neutralization. Number four, you have two reactants given a single reaction. That's an addition of, or two reactants giving a single product. That's called an addition reaction or a combination reaction. And last but not least, you have what's called a decomposition reaction. You have a reactant, and now you got two or more products from a single reactant, and that's known as a decomposition. I hope this helps on how to classify your reaction in general chemistry. It's a sure bet question on the DAT and the old exam, even in MCAT. Okay, thank you, Dr. Romano. Okay, bye -bye. See you again soon.